Hey, thanks for tuning in. Once again, everybody out there in internet land, appreciate you taking the time to listen to what I have to say. I'm a weird guy, and for some reason you keep coming back listening to my videos. And if this is your first time, uh, please know this one's very atypical from what I typically do. And uh, typically I do a bunch of random stuff, so I guess it's pretty typical in that regard. But uh, yes, right now, as of now, I'm at another job because the one uh, interview I went to yesterday after I got done filming... Uh, my video when I was cutting my grass. I cut my grass, I went to the job interview, and after the job interview, we both discovered that the fit wasn't good for either one of our needs. Uh, I have standards when it comes to what jobs I take. I am very, 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 very fortunate, very lucky, very lucky indeed, to be able to work jobs that I enjoy working that fit my needs. I'm very fortunate because I'm blessed with knowing many wonderful people that look out for me and give me different job opportunities on a regular basis. Um, for this particular job, this job had a very, very fair deal. Uh, it was a great location, not too far away from where I was working and where I'm living now and where I'm moving to. It was right between the two locations. So it was like, oh, this is perfect, perfect. I could work here uh, for a couple days a week, uh, maybe just on Monday and Tuesday. That's what, was, what I was expecting. I was expecting just employment on Monday and Tuesday because those are the two days that I wanted to fill. Um, unfortunately, I discovered that the... Uh, they wanted me to reserve Wednesdays for them. And Wednesdays is a day where I take uh, time for my own personal endeavors as an artist and as an uh, as a, as a, as a self-employed person. I, I do a bunch of self... Uh, I do things for my own company, my own business. I work on uh, contracts and I work on... Because I'm getting more entertainment contracts coming in the mail uh, and emails and, and messages and all that. So it's very exciting for me because I love entertainment. I love doing that first and foremost before anything else. And I do a bunch of other things on the side. I'll rake leaves. I'll, uh, I'll do uh, snow removal uh, with, with a shovel if I have to. Um, and I, I enjoy doing those sorts of jobs because my philosophy on that is there's a lot of people that go out and they buy gym memberships and they spend all this money to go to the gym and go work out to get uh, exercise. And, and I'm just like, I do that too. I have, a, I have a Planet Fitness membership and no one sponsors me once again. That's just a matter of fact. Uh, if you ever hear me bring up a product or a service on my channel. It's not because I am sponsored. I'll let you know if I ever get sponsored. Um, but I digress. The point is, is I have a gym membership and I go there uh, with, uh, with a buddy of mine. Me and my buddy go there. We're gym buddies. We like to go there from time to time and try to give each other encouragement to keep uh, making better decisions for our health. But uh, why not get paid to work out is my philosophy, right? Why not get paid to work out? And I like contractual labor. I'm a contractor. I like to take jobs out on a contractual basis where they're seasonal. Uh, so give me some time to work things out. So this job I went for the interview for, they wanted me to reserve Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays specifically for their company. And I can't take any days off. And, and they said they could maybe work with me for a couple of weeks, but then they need me for all three days. And the rate wasn't as high as other places I could work because if a company or a an event or a festival is giving you regular employment, that gives them a little bit extra leeway and leverage to negotiate a lower wage and paying you because they're giving you regular employment. And most people, most people out there look for job security in the form of regular employment. Now me, I am different than most people. I understand this because I am uh, privileged and very fortunate in the regard that uh, a lot of people are giving me job opportunities and job offers. And I can afford to be a little bit more choosy than some folks. Plus, I like chaos that has been manifested in my channel. You might have noticed that I post about all sorts of different stuff here on my channel. There's no order, really. And they say you're supposed to specialize when you're posting on YouTube, and I don't do that. I do a little bit. I do, I do specialize a little bit. I do my circus and flow arts tutorials. Every Sunday, I do another tutorial video on uh, tightrope walking, on juggling, on contact juggling, on spinning things on your finger, or or devil sticks, or all sorts of stuff. I just did one on bartender flaring. Just basic, basic stuff, entry-level stuff for the most part. I get a little more technical with my contact juggling because that's my personal area of expertise. But, excuse me, I had to burp, and this video won't be edited, so I'm sorry. You have to smell that. <sighs> Anyways, uh, the point is, is that the job interview didn't quite go the way uh, either one of us was hoping it would. We both wanted to have a good fit, but... The good news is that after the meeting, about 10 minutes into it, we end with uh, some eye contact and a handshake and a, and a thank you for your time. And that was just fine. And I walked out of there and I felt really good, actually, because I just got done working 
a 16-hour shift on Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all 12-hour shifts working at the Michigan Renaissance Festival. And it's very socially draining and socially taxing working at the Michigan Renaissance Festival for, uh, for people, you know, doing your stage shows and all that. So, um, yeah, so then I get another job, and I'm doing that right there. And you have to uh, just go with it. So uh, this other job was kind of like a sign for me, like, hey, Doug, slow down. You're working too hard. You're doing too much. Maybe you should take this opportunity to, I don't know, move into your new home and fix it up. Because I've been getting by on the good graces of two wonderful friends of mine, uh, Michael Timothy Childs and uh, Jonathan Haglin, uh, two wonderful people. I, I name dropped them, but uh, I hope they appreciate that and I hope they don't feel disrespected that I did that. Um, Michael is an amazing woodworker, uh, an expert craftsman, uh, a quality artisan, if you will. And Jonathan Haglin is a uh, consummate performer. Uh, a wonderful coach. He's been coaching me to do a better job and helping me become a better performer and teaching me how to uh, to uh, engage with the audience better and make sure that I, I do 360 uh, degrees of engagement, not just one direction that I'm used to. So I've learned a lot from these, these two folks in different ways. And you might have seen that or heard me talk about this in a previous video called Strange Synchronicities and Curious Coincidences. And all these strange synchronicities and curious coincidences have been happening to me since March of this year, and I've only recently started talking about them up until my dear heart, uh, best friend, my, 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 my manager of this channel, and my, my PR agent, or we'll, we'll just call her my per agent, Lucy the Cat, had to be put to sleep, unfortunately, because of her battle with cancer. And ever since then, I've been feeling more um, charged, more more of an ability to focus on other things in my life because Lucy was always on the back of my mind, on, on the forefront of my mind, in fact. That's probably the more, more, uh, more of an appropriate turn of phrase. Lucy was always in my heart, always on my mind, and, and uh, I was admittedly quite distracted with my YouTube channel and with my personal affairs as well as my job as an in-home caregiver and a uh, peer mentor. I work a lot of jobs, folks. Uh, so yes, uh, that was that, and uh, I think right now it's about time for me to get started another job, because as irony would have it, uh, when one door closes, another one opens up, and it looks like my uh, my employer, uh, who happens to be a good friend of mine, uh, just got to the job site. I got here a half an hour early. I thought I was going to be five minutes late, but I got here uh, five past nine, and that's great, because I like being early for events. I prefer being early than late. So... Uh, with all that being considered, thanks very much for tuning in, everybody. I appreciate it more than you would ever, ever, ever realize. We're almost up to 800 subscribers. You have no idea how 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 that makes me feel. That makes me feel uh, so uh, so happy, so wonderful, knowing that there's people out there like you who are watching these videos and, and, and liking what I'm doing. So thanks very much, everyone. I appreciate it very, very, very much. So I'll end the video with the words of, Remember to never give up, and to do your best, and to stay true to you and who you are and what you stand for, and to be amazing, my friends. Thanks very much. I'll end the video now with half a heart because I'm on my phone. The other one has to uh, turn off the camera. You know how it is. Bye-bye.